Today I'm going to show you how a flex offer is created end to end in an interactive channel. Let us click on the add new flex offer button. It will take you to a pop up window where there are three options. I'm going to select the third option for this demo. It is going to create the table from scratch. Give a name for this flex offer and click on save it will take you to the listing page of flex offer rules here you go now i'm going to add offers into the rules using the add rule button here i'm going to select the available offers from my interact system to add into the rules let us add some couple of offers in this particular flex offer mapping. The first one I'm selecting as a welcome offer and then two more. So I have three rules in my flex offer. I'm going to assign zones for each of those rules. For now I'm selecting all zones for all the three roles. You can also select specific zones. Now you need to assign the cell codes for each of the offer. The default cell code comes when you add, add an offer. You can also assign a new cell code or you can select existing cell codes from the system. Let us save these three rules. And the next step is adding a filter into the flex offer mapping. A filter is nothing but a criteria for selecting the offers based on an offer attribute. Let us add first filter. I'm going to add the filter on offer name. Give some name to this filter and add the criteria. You need to select the offer conditions. So I'll be selecting a simple condition as offer name start or contains a string. Okay, so this rule is saved. I'm going to preview the output of this rule. It is giving me all the three offers which match this particular criteria. And remember, these are not the offers from the system. These are coming from the rules which we have added in the previous step. So let us close this window. create another filter. You can add as many filters as you wish based on the criteria which you want to use in that particular offer mapping. And then uh, while running the start session and get offer APIs, you can use any of these filters. And if you don't pass any filter name, then it will select the default filter. That's why I have marked one of the filters as default using the set default button. I'm, I'm now going to close this mapping. So the offer mapping is created. And the next step is I'll need to mark this offer mapping for deployment so that it is available to be deployed with the IC into the runtime server. And there is an important step where you need to copy the offer mapping table from your design time system to the target runtime server group, which I'm going to do now. I'm selecting the default server group as the target server group for my offer mapping. Click Save. OK, the table is created successfully. And I'm so the offer mapping procedure is now completed. I'm now going to deploy an IC using the usual method. And once the channel is deployed, the fields or the flex offers are available 
to be used from the APIs. So this was all about the flex offer mapping functionality of Interact. Thank you.